Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and I'm in White House Station, New Jersey, for this supermarket checkout. The first time we check out a King's Food Market. The King's Food Market chain has been around since 1936, and has been uh, doing business in New York, Connecticut, and northern New Jersey. Now, what's going to be interesting about this location is that for many years, this was an A and P. In fact, uh, as we approach the front of the building, you'll notice that while the awning has been slightly um, modified from its original uh, A and P look, the columns and the A and P style front doors are still there. Even the sign for the shopping center mimics the old A and P awning. Now, from 1988 to 2006, King's was owned by a British firm named Marks & Spencer. Sometime after that, they were purchased by Angela Gordon Supermarkets, and in 2009, they acquired Baldacci's, another supermarket banner, and operated their stores, again, under the Baldacci's name. In an interesting note, King's and Baldacci's were supplied by Associated Wholesalers Incorporated. But when that company filed for Chapter 11 in 2014, they switched to Wakefern. That's right, ShopRite supplied Kings for a time. However, things took a downhill turn in August 23rd of 2020 when Kings filed for bankruptcy. However, by October 14th, an announcement was made that Albertsons had uh, made a winning bid to purchase Kings and Baldacci's for $96 million. Other than six stores being shuttered, the remainder of the Kings and Baldacci's locations are now owned by Albertsons and are considered part of the Acme division. And as you walk around, you start seeing... You know, small traces of Acme or Albertsons uh, pop up. But you still see the uh, Kings where inspiration strikes decor, which premiered 10 years ago. And I must say that I do like the uh, aisle markers. They kind of remind me a little bit of the Acme Broad or Albertsons Broadway style um aisle markers, only a little uh, darker in color and a little uh, more old-timey. But uh, overall, um, this store was uh, very clean. It was uh, uh, well-stocked. Only had about, I believe, 11 aisles. But it felt like a larger store. It didn't feel as small as, say, the uh, former Middlesex Acme or uh, in the older 33M stores that uh, I've uh, walked through. Especially with this uh, large bakery section. Of course now the uh, baked goods start to resemble the uh, Acme Albertsons slash Safeway items. So if you've shopped at an Agami or any other Albertsons or Safeway owned store, it's going to look a lot like that. In fact, it even sounds like an Albertsons or an Agami. Just listen. So now they're using the same technology as uh, the Acme I shop at in Voorhees, New Jersey. And speaking of uh, using things, you've been uh, using my videos for your entertainment, haven't you? And some of you haven't subscribed yet. Well, what's taking you so long? Go ahead. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you know when new content is dropping on my channel. And comment below. Let me know you have subscribed. You can also comment below and suggest places I should explore. Now, I can't get to them all, but I will try. And folks, at this point, I had to get something, and so I went and got cat food because, uh, well, the cat is uh, running low. 
In fact, uh, the brand I get is funny. There's a gray cat on the picture, and uh, my cat is gray. Well, actually, he's really not my cat. It's just that, uh, well, his previous owner has moved down south, and so I become his caretaker. And uh, we get along rather well, which is kind of surprising. But uh, I've come to the point where I've had my quota of dogs, and so the next place I live, I'd like to just be uh, with me and two cats, and I'd be happier than a pig in slop. Well, this is the end of my video. I'm going to be uh, ringing up my purchases, and wherever possible, I always try to do self-checkout. That way, uh, they don't notice the handy cam strapped to my head. And uh, time to uh, leave all my purchases. And folks, uh, thank you for watching this far. Again, like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell. Check out uh, supermarkets in your area. You never know what you might find. Have a great day out there, folks. And I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.